What's going on, ladies? So my name is Big Vic. I am the founder and creator of My Black Universe Entertainment LLC. And I want to give you my perspective from two hats I wear. One, content creator. Two, black consumer or consumer of black owned products. So I had the pleasure or the displeasure, however you want to choose to look at it, of watching Bevel, Walker Branding Company, go from an independent company that was backed by the likes of Nasir Jones, Charlemagne the God, et cetera, et cetera, having this big push behind it, getting out in front of the black community and eventually having to sell itself. Now, we may look at that and say, well, why they do that? Why, why they just... I saw Bevel hit the scene and go hard and push itself in the community and put itself in a position where it's supposed to be black men's grooming products. You know, the, the coiled hair, the, you know, the coarse, rough textured hair, the barber shops, barbers, et cetera, et cetera. I also saw these same barbers pretty much denigrating the, the brand. Like, oh, it's too expensive. Who's going to pay this much for some trimmers? I bought them. I do have them. Just so you know, they ain't no cap. And they do work still. I also watched these same barbers buy Babeless and Andis and all these other brands and take these same blades and have them go sharpen. So I've seen how Bevel really didn't make the impact in the community like it should have because it didn't have the community push. I also noted that at the same time, they were out when there was Harry's and Dollar Shave Club. And they wanted to stay 100% black owned, but the problem was they didn't have the money. You already have investors on the beginning. You have the community who's not really rocking with it like supposed to. And where are you gonna get this money from? Now we do have black billionaires and one can argue, hey, how come they didn't come together? Did he talk to them? We don't know, I don't know. Shout out to Tristan, that's my dude. But I do know this, when you're a small business and you start blowing up and you get into the likes of Walmarts and Targets, to keep up with the demand, you're either gonna do one or two things. Get the money to scale up so you can provide what you say you're gonna provide. And if you can't do it on your own, you're gonna stop your company or watch your company go down. Catch 22.